All right, thanks for joining us again tonight. So tonight what we're gonna do is show you how to put the bed down in the Coachman 22 Beyond C that we have, how to set up the bed. And then we're gonna discuss a little bit uh, mattresses and what we're thinking of doing on our next trip. So let's get going. So first thing you want to do is kind of clear up the area. So if you have pillows, whatever, you know, get those up to the front of the van. Then you're going to remove this table that you're going to use later for a base. So remove the table, just kind of twist it up. And then you're going to remove this here. And there's a little lever here. So if you go this way, it tightens up. So we're going to go down nice and loose. We slide that off and then we're going to put that in the back. Then there's another table that we're going to need to get. That's over here. And this is normally the table you use for the front when you want to eat. So here's the table. So now we got both our tables are ready to go. Get rid of these things here. So then um, we're going to lower the uh, bed a little bit with a little button here. And you don't want to do it all the way yet. Just go partially down. And then this is, this is the point where we put uh, our mattress down. So this is a mattress we've been using now for, I guess, a little over a year. Um, and the reason we <clears throat> got a mattress is because when the bed is all the way down, um, even though Coachman says there are no crease, you can't feel it, you can. So there's a crease here, a crease here, and it just just fold the, the best when you're sleeping. So we got this uh, mattress from, um, it's called Benoit. I don't know where the sticker is anymore, but there's a sticker in here somewhere I'll show you guys. Well, let me just take this off. So we can see. Yeah. Oh, there it is. The Beloit Mattress Company. So they uh, they make mattresses custom made. So you can actually uh, choose the sizes you want specifically for um, your couch or whatever. And how thick would you say this is? <laughs> Do you, remember, do you remember how thick it is when you ordered it? Maybe it's about an inch. About an inch. Yeah. yeah. And, it, you know, it, it's nice. It's got nice, you know, big straps. So we're going to strap this over there. Over there. You, just, uh, you know, we just get that set up. Get out of the way. And then now we're going to put the tables up um, for this part of the bed. Um, and so you can see there's little ledges here. So we're going to put the tables here. So if this couch is all the way in here. You can't really fit them in there. So that's why we have the couch the way it is now. And this is where you want to be real careful not to drop these on your toes. Yeah, no kidding. So I don't know if you can see. But... So I just go right over the ledge. Like that and it'll go right um, right against the cabinet there and then you put the bed all the way down and you have your bed now you could really have the bed like this without the tables um, you know and then you have one person sleep there maybe another person sleep there but if you want to have a little bigger size bed this is what you'll do and then you'll take these side cushions. I mean, and that would be if you sleep in the fetal position because I don't know. Oh, I see what you're saying. You would. Yeah, yeah. you could just leave. Like you, yeah. Yeah. Don't let your legs. But true. You yeah. know, I like to be next to my wife, so I put the bed together like this. And there you go. So there you have your whole bed, and as you can see, there's those creases here and there. Um, everywhere so it's just not that comfortable so with this mattress um, it takes care of those creases for the most part and you can see there's still a little yeah. divot down here but it and definitely so, smooths out yeah so i don't mind it i think it works pretty well um but pam doesn't really like it she wishes it was a little bit there was a little bit more padding 
Um, so we're going to show you this other mattresses that <clears throat> we actually had in our home that we use for guests when they visit our home. And we're going to see if they fit, because if they do, that might actually be something worthwhile to try. Yeah. Um, I mean? Now, the other thing to point out is that um, for sheets, I buy the extra deep pocket king size sheets, uh, and they fit very nicely over the back of the um, couch uh, with plenty of space. We do have to squeeze it in, you know, in this little corner here. Um, but th that is the size that I would recommend, the extra deep pocket for King. All right, so I'm going to just throw this in here for now. I'm pretty sure I fold it in the here. I'm going to throw it in the back. Okay, All that's right, the action, which is actually otherwise known as the front. Yeah. All right, let me put the bed back down. And then let's take out this new mattress. Now, his biggest reservation with these two mattresses are the space that they would take up in the van versus the one that he just took off. It just fits very nicely behind the seat. Uh, these are larger, thicker. Yeah, so these are a lot bigger. No, they do fit behind the couch. Um, okay, so, so that's good. You know, but, I mean, these are... It's probably four inches. Yeah, I mean, the thickness of that is... Yeah, yeah. so let's see how that works. That delicious. I don't really know if this is going to fit, so let's see. Good, super delicious. Yeah, I don't sleep well, and Bob, I don't know why, I haven't figured it out, so we're going to do a system, systematic, systematic approach to try and figure out why, and we'll see if it is the mattress. That's where we're going to start. But um, what I'll say to that is, you know, sometimes you don't sleep well at home. Uh, sometimes you don't sleep well in the van. I don't know. I mean, I think I sleep well at home, but. All right, well, let's see how this goes. This could be pretty comfy. He, he thinks it could be a mental block on my part, but I don't know. I'm not convinced of that. We'll see. Yeah, if you sleep like a baby in this, then I'll. We'll see. Something about those, you know, four inches of padding underneath my hips. Just seems... All right, so these we bought a couple of years ago on Amazon, Better Habitat. I couldn't tell you the price for these anymore. Um, look at these. This is like a real bed now. Yeah. This seems to fit perfectly, uh -huh. you know. Yeah, it's like meant to be. Oh, so take my shirt off. Uh -huh. Let's try it out. So, I guess part of the thing you want to, you know, if you're thinking about getting this this van, is how would you be able to sleep? How would you fit in the van? So I'm five, eleven and a half, apparently. And I don't touch the board. Let's put another two, three inches or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I think if you're six feet, six one, maybe six two. And he really does sleep like that. Yep. Um, so that you can fit that way. Um, you, this is much narrower, so you can't fit. So if I'm like this, my head's touching. That's not a mm -hmm. good way to sleep. Plus, then you have to jump on top of your. Part. And then show them how to do it if you're by yourself. Oh well, then I'm gonna go. With then you can go. That's great. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I think I'd like to try that. So too. okay, here, let me get off. You should try this out. This is really nice. Is it nice? This is like a. It's like a hotel bed at this my point. Shoes or... Oh yeah, that's really nice. Yeah. And then, quality. Yeah, and then if we're watching television, um, I think what's kind of neat is that. Um, This right here oh, yeah. kind of curves up a little bit. Mm, yeah. Like I wonder if you can make it curve up a little bit more even yeah. when you're watching TV. So when you when you're trying to figure out what um, what coach what model you want, um, you know we looked at the the Nova which has the two long seats that turn into beds. Like she's and they were, this. Yeah, and that was comfortable. 
Mm -hmm. um, I did like those, um, but the fridge was too small. That's why we didn't want that one. Too small. And then we looked at the Panoramic, which is that Canadian company. They make a really nice uh, van, uh, but it's based on the Promaster. So I was a little disappointed with that. But the other thing is the, so in that one, the bed is always there in the back. Um, it's, you don't have to put it up, put it down. So that is, that is nice. But the problem is it's fairly high up. It's not as low as this. So you can't just sit like she just did a minute ago. Um, you know, just to read a book or watch TV, you can't, you know, your head's going to touch the ceiling. Um, so that was actually part of the main reason why we didn't choose that van, I think. Well, then, because it was on a Promaster. Well, and the seatbelts in the back. Although, I guess that one had seatbelts. Yeah, yeah, had seats yeah. in the front. So, um, yeah, so, yeah, here you have to put this, you know, the bed up and down when you travel. Um, but it's actually, it takes, what, five, maybe ten minutes top. It's not difficult. Yeah. Um, if anything, maybe you run a couple calories after eating. Um, and we still like the couch part because it does give you some other options when you want to lay around in there or read a book or, you know, of course, when you want to eat. And solely during the day, if you want to take a quick nap, you don't have to do this full setup. You can just put the bed down a little bit, maybe even halfway, and take a quick nap. So you have sure. options on the, in this van that, yeah. You may not get it in some other vans. And then with a couch, you get a lot of storage behind the seat, which you don't get so many with some of the other vans. So that's why we chose it. So yeah. you're going to have to figure out what is important to you as you look through all the different models. Yeah. And see. So did we touch base on everything? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think I can't wait to try these. Um, yep. We can do an update. Yeah, so we're going to go to Race Town Lake Park. Um, in a couple of weeks and we're going to try this out and we'll give you an update in the meantime um, happy travels if you have a van and maybe we can meet you somewhere I have to say that in almost two years of traveling I have yet to see a coachman anywhere it's weird really yeah oh. so all right well have okay. a great night bye